In this video on close-up photography we're going to be focusing on field craft and how to find insects in locations like this which is a big open space. How do you find them? How do you approach them? And how do you photograph them when you're not using a tripod? I think it's very easy to assume that as a photographer you just come to a nice nature reserve and you immediately find wildlife to photograph. The reality is quite different. You have to spend a lot of time looking, searching for subjects that are in the right place because you're not just looking for, for insects or, or, or beetles or whatever it might be that you're looking for. You've got to find them in the right place, in the right situation and, and somewhere that lends itself to photography. So my advice to you is be very patient, don't expect to come to these places and immediately begin taking photographs. Take your time and your patience will be rewarded. Okay, you never know what you're going to find when you come to a, a reserve. Some of the joys of coming, you know, what opportunities are going to present themselves and I've actually not seen a brimstone butterfly for, for probably um, a year now. So to, to see a, a few here at this reserve is really nice and although this one has just flown away, I'm pretty confident it's going to land on, on some of the other flowers around me. And there's two or three others so I'm going to just have a wander around now and um, just kind of persevere because a lot of handheld shooting is persistence, you know, insects are going to fly away, that's inevitable. Um, in fact, more often than not, when you get close to a subject, it is going to fly away. You just have to persevere, be persistent, keep on trying. And, um, and before long, you know, your patience will be rewarded and you'll get opportunities There's some really nice close-ups of your subject. So I'm going to go and, um, go and uh, pursue it and try again. So one of the big advantages, obviously, of using a tripod is stability. It does slow you down and it means that you're much more likely to disturb your subject um, as you try and get it into position. When you shoot handheld, you've got the advantage of being able to kind of work more efficiently and, and move into position quite quickly and it maximises your chances of success. I've got a brimstone butterfly here. It's quite flighty. I've been watching them for a few minutes now. There's no way I'd get a tripod set up to, to, to take a photograph of this. But shooting handheld, I can speed up and I can be far more manoeuvrable. And whilst I'm going to have to take more shots in order to get one good one, my chances of success are far greater shooting handheld than if I used a tripod. I think sometimes when people see the, the photographs that close-up photographers produce of small subjects like this, they just don't appreciate how small they are until they actually see them for themselves. Now just to give you an idea of, of just how small this butterfly is, I'm going to very gently put my finger right up close to it and you can see it's been very tolerant but hopefully that gives you an idea of just how small it is. So with subjects like this I always manually focus and the reason for that is autofocus tends to kind of hunt and search for subjects that are close up and they can really struggle to lock on so you've got more precision with manual focus and I'll often pre-focus my lens rather than constantly adjust it when I'm focusing. And having pre-focused it, I'll then just rock gently backwards and forwards. And every time I see my subject sharp in the viewfinder, I'll release the, the, the shutter. So I find that a really effective way of achieving sharp handheld shots. If you do get a subject which is is staying still for a long time. You know, don't be scared to experiment either with your shooting angle or perhaps your choice of depth of field or perhaps try a shot which is closer or wider. When you do get opportunities where insects will just stay still like this for, for several minutes, don't necessarily just take a few shots and then kind of walk away. Take some shots and then if the opportunity allows, think, right, what can I do now? You know, what, what other opportunities? You know, if I walk around the insect, will that produce a, you know, a different angle? different background, you know, how will it affect the light? Um, just think, you know, you have a surprising amount of time sometimes to, to actually change perspective, even sometimes changing focal length, you know. Um, I think everyone presumes that when you do handheld shooting that, that you're only going to get a few seconds with your subject, but there are plenty of opportunities like this where you have time to really think it through. 
So weather is a really important consideration when you're taking photographs of, of insects and flowers. Um, and you know, this is, this is really nice now. It's, it's, it's sunny, it's bright, but it's not too bright. And, and the light is relatively diffused. And, and, and because it's warm, there's loads of activity. Crucially, this is also a really nice shelter spot. I don't know whether you can tell, but it's quite, it's quite blowy. Now, when I'm looking at the treetops, they're blowing around quite a lot. But here, because there's trees all around me and there's lots of kind of foliage and cover, it's remaining really quite sheltered. And that's really important because it means that when I, I kind of go and focus to take a, a, a photograph, my subject's not waving around on, on whatever it's resting on too much. And that makes it easier for me to focus and compose my shots. This common blue butterfly, which is just being blown around in the, uh, the reeds at the minute, is settled for the night, I think. It's very unlikely to fly away now, and I know that because I know my subjects, and, and you know, it's important to, to know what your subject is likely to do. And with the temperature dropping now, you know, it's getting cooler, it's very unlikely to fly again this evening. Um, so I'm going to just remember where this spot is, um, and I'll come back in the morning. It's very unlikely to have moved, and I'll be able to come straight to it and take pictures immediately without having to look around and, and, and search for a subject tomorrow morning. And if the light is good, it means I'm not gonna waste any opportunity. So um, I will, uh, I'll be back in the morning and hopefully I'll get some good shots. I've had a really good day today, visited a couple of different reserves and found some really nice subjects to photograph. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the WEX blog for more videos, technique and tips.